everyone. We're going to get started in just a second. If you're here, say hello. I'd love to hear from you guys. Hello. Hi. Um, okay, today's going to be a fun one. If you're new here, I am Heather Powers from Humble Beads. I'm a bead maker, jewelry designer, author, illustrator, and your all-around creative muse. It's my job each week to get the beads off your bead table and into some jewelry. And today's video is sponsored by Just Me Lincoln. And we're going to be doing the vintage unboxing. And in case you're new and this is your first time hearing about it, this is a subscription box service that's curated by Jess Lincoln. And Jess puts together an amazing collection of beautiful um, metal components and vintage findings, vintage findings, and some one-of-a-kind pieces or limited edition for the boxes. And then along with a um, color palette of beads to work with. And the subscription box is a monthly subscription for $39.50, and it's $150 worth of goodies every month. And so we want to thank Jess for being our sponsor today. Hello, Teresa and Darlene and Megan. Hi, guys. Glad to see you here. So, all right. So I'm going to give people just another minute to find their way here. If you guys are here, say hello. Let me know where you're watching from today. I definitely want to hear from you. Hi, Jess. Happy Friday. Glad to have you here with us. So Jess will be sharing links throughout the video and um, answering questions. If you guys have questions about the subscription box. So we have some people watching from YouTube. So we have um, Chris and Gail. Hi guys, glad you could join us from YouTube too. All right, so the subscription box, we're going to just jump in. I think I'm gonna turn the camera over now and get started. And let's see what Jess has in store for us this month. So I'm kind of opening this. Ooh, okay, so there's always an inspiration card that Jess puts lots of goodies in here. And so, oh, sorry Jess. <laughs> I didn't know there was going to be a code right there. Okay, so Jess always puts together six or seven different jewelry idea designs for us. And so you get to see all of those here and, you know, study this like a little, um, a little how to. There's lots of fun ideas that Jess puts in here. She always has a creative way of using findings and components that are from the box want to say hi to Cheryl and Candy and Mitzi who are joining us and just just shared the um, the link with us there so feel free to click on that if you're not a, already a subscriber I was thinking today about how the subscription box could really fall under the uh, the umbrella of self-care couldn't it isn't this a self-care box a little gift of inspiration you give to yourself every month I, I definitely want to say that for sure. This is definitely a bit of self-care that arrives. It's a fun gift that you get to give to yourself every month. And um, you definitely get to be inspired by what Jess has put in. And also it gives you time to say, okay, this is my time to be creative. And so I love that. Hi, Dee. Welcome. Okay, so let's jump in and see what we have here. Here we have two large sand dollar pendants. Very cool. I automatically already would definitely pull out my white um, vintage paint and paint those up so that they were white. Here we have two little deco rivets that um, I'm going to say they're probably supposed to be leaves, but I'm going to say these are totally mermaid tails, don't you think, guys? <laughs> we're just going to call those mermaid tails for the rest of the video. Then we have a brass component that's been, um, well, it's pewter that's been covered with brass, plated with brass, sorry, and it has wander. So that's a fun one for um, traveling in the summertime. I want to say hi to Lorraine and Susan and Shelly who are joining us. And this is a great bracelet component right there. Then we have some raw brass flowers got a pair. You can make a pair of earrings with those. Ooh, we have a bunch of little teeny tiny, ooh, a bunch. Oh my gosh, these are so 
adorable. Guys, they're little baby lizards. Okay, so um, I gotta figure out something fun to do with these. We have these crazy themed birthday parties for everyone in my family. And our next one is going to be a desert lizard party. So I, I got to do something fun with those to wear to that party. <laughs> wow, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those little lizard charms. So just did, just did a really, really cute project with them where she layered them all together for like three of them for a pair of earrings. Jess, that's so cute. You always come up with the most clever designs. All right, now what else? We have two butterfly charms. Butterfly. Yeah, I know those are dragonflies. So we have this whole outdoor insect kind of theme. Oh, and Jess always does the themes. Well, not always, but for the um, for 2023, all the themes are based on seasons. So we have a large brass hoop. You guys could hammer texture. It already has a light texture to it, or you could do some painting with it. Then we have a very shiny leaf, and I would definitely paint or do some scuffing up with this one. <laughs> I, um, I'm more of a nature girl, and this would be a little too shiny for me, but that's the really fun thing about the gift box, I mean the subscription box, is if a piece isn't necessarily your, um, style you can hammer um, do texturing you can do painting like there's all different ways to manipulate these components to fit, fit your style and that's just one of the things i love about it okay we have three pewter links oh, and uh, you can't really see they have a fun texture on them that looks like they were hammered before they were um, cast in metal then we have these pewter links that are blank on both sides and you could totally hammer something in the middle or do some texturing on that too and then we have two of these silver um, pieces they almost look like sand and water they have that texture of the beach where the sand and water are churning together okay maybe I just want to go to the beach <laughs> Yeah, okay, totally. I get it, Jess. The theme, guys, is like this beach island. So here we have from Green Girl Studio, you guys get a mermaid pendant in this uh, pewter. And sh here we have the mermaid on the top. And on the back, you have the wave. That's really cool. And then Jess's palette that she's put together for, for us. Okay, so do you guys, do you wait until the video to play with your subscription box? Have you already started making things with your box? Leave a comment and let us know. Or are you, have you not subscribed yet and you, uh, you've been thinking about it? I, I want to hear from you. Okay, so we have a whole mix of um, stones. We have some vintage-esque lucite or plastic, depending on how fancy you want to get. And then we have lots of um, glass pieces in here. We have a few little freshwater pearls, some amazonite, and a huge crystal that also kind of looks like a mermaid tail here. Oh, Kim, I'm sorry to hear you... Uh, aren't feeling good and at home resting today. Take care of yourself. All right, so who has the box? Brenda, you wait to see what I do and get some inspiration that way. Fun. Okay, so while I'm sitting here, I'm thinking of what I want to do first. And that is not an easy answer because I could go in so many different directions. Oh, and I forgot to mention, here's a little brass ring. It's just plain. Makes a great little connector or you can hang all sorts of little things off of it for a pendant or use it on a bracelet. All right, <laughs> these lizards, I love them so much. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to do with them, but they're going to be something somewhere along the way because they're um, hilarious and adorable to me. 
right, Jess, thanks for letting us know. The large brass piece Jess got is a vintage piece special for this box, so that's really cool. <laughs> Darlene, you were going to wait to open it with me, but you just couldn't resist. Yeah, guys, if I didn't have the video and didn't have to wait, I would definitely be tearing this open on the first day that it arrived, for sure. Okay, and I love the... Um, pearly beachy combination that we have here Jess it's very pretty we have pinks and blues and yellows and the sand colors I love it all right so I'm pretty sure well I don't want to say pretty sure I'm kind of leaning towards the mermaid and maybe the mermaid inside the uh the piece here let me see what you did Jess make sure do something a little bit different. Oh, Jess, your jewelry on this um, in here is so beautiful. Everything you made, it's just gorgeous. Love it all. Okay. Hmm, fascinating. All right. So I kind of do like these together, but that might be a little bigger than what I would wear. Maybe. Maybe I match something up like that. Maybe with this guy hanging down. That's another possibility, right? Hmm. <laughs> yes, just all sorts of fun things to do with these little lizard guys. I love them. Love them. Okay, I need to uh, hone in on a decision here. It's always the hardest part, everyone, is coming up with one thing to make. All right, so maybe I'm going to go with uh, a silvery jewelry piece. We have enough here to kind of... Um, go with a mermaid necklace. Let's do it. Let's just commit. And then I can spend time between now and next week painting and um, preparing some of these components because I feel like I definitely want to paint a lot of them. Pull out that moonstone, right guys? Is that the... <laughs> So Jess, I'd really like to know, what did you do to get this um, color that you did in the uh, on your hoop? Because I want to definitely copy that color. <laughs> it's really beautiful. Is it the green opals and sandstone that you used on the mermaid too? Possible. Okay, so I think I'm going to pull out my riveting hammer and do some texturing on these little guys. First and foremost, so I'm going to grab my little bench block that looks pretty roughed up, and my ball peen hammer, and I'm just going to do some light dapping on here. To give it a little bit more texture and interest. So this is a ball peen hammer, um, a mini frets ball peen hammer. You guys could use a bigger ball peen hammer too. It doesn't have to be one of these little mini ones. Hammering on the ends of these almost give it like a faceted look, so I'm digging that. All right, now I need to pull out some humble beads. I can't just not have humble beads in this creation. That would be that would be silly. over here. Oh, 
All right. So I kind of want to keep with Jess's color scheme that she has going. So. I might go with those guys. Or I might pull those in too. Okay. So Jess said yes, those were the colors. She used um, green opal and sandstone to do the coloring on her metal pieces. And they are beautiful. Okay. So let me play around with a few pieces here. Kind of like these squares. But I might want to save these for a more beachy well, that is, this is about as beachy as we're going to come, right? <laughs> Silly goose. Okay. And I really love these little tiny pearls that we have going on. That's pretty. Just seeing what I have in here, guys. Poking through the collection. So many sweet and delicate things. Okay, we have two of those. And I think I'm going to use these little tiny pearls as dangles because they're going to have to go on the tiny little pearl head pins. I think I'm going to do three on each side of that. And maybe not the stones. Those are too, too big and heavy for this design. I might do something with these on a jump ring. All right, so... I'm going to grab these little tiny wobbles that I have here, and I'm going to use those in between those two pieces, and then I'm going to use some of the larger beads above. And these are my disc beads that are made out of Palmer clay, and I think I'm going to do one down below with the mermaid. And then I will do two above. There we go. I'm using all my little beads here in this one piece. Okay, I do want to do a little tiny bit of painting here. And so let's um let's go ahead and Grab some paint. I'm not very organized with my paint, so give me a minute to uh, dig around here. <laughs> throwing things into my drawer here. Okay, so I'm going to go with something with these colors. I, of course, reserve the right to change my mind at any moment, but I think this is the direction I'm going to go. brush and I'm just going to use one of the little bags from the kit to mix my paints on. 
<clears throat> and to paint on this myself. Oh, and you know what? I think I'm going to do... I hope this doesn't mess it up. <laughs> I'm always like, let's just go for it. I'm going to hammer on the key part here. Just give it a little bit of a pebbly texture. I'm going to do that on both sides. my little pebbly texture on the front yeah I like that better and it fits in a little bit more with the uh, other pieces now these have been sitting so I have not shaken them up in a while so I'm gonna be shaking these up for a little bit okay I'm gonna go with moonstone this turquoise color and Maybe I'm going to tone it down with a little bit of rose gold. We shall see. Oh no. All right, guys. I just got a message about a bad recording. So if you're watching and nothing's changed, please just let me know that you didn't, that I didn't lose you. <laughs> please, please, please say hello. Still here watching something like that. No one wants to see that bad recording message. All right, I'm getting kind of nervous. I don't see any comments yet. So if you're still here watching, please leave a comment and let me know the video is still going strong. Oh no! I'm not seeing any comments, you guys. This is making me Sad. Give you one second. Jess, can you look on YouTube and see if I'm still alive? Sorry guys, just waiting one second. I'm not seeing any comments, so I'm thinking we are not live anymore. Yeah. I'm a little worried. Okay, I just got a comment. So on YouTube, Wendy, you're seeing it. It's looking okay. If you guys are here, leave a comment. Let me know. Because if not, it seems to be working. Okay. You see me painting? Am I right now? Sorry guys, I just really don't think I'm connected anymore. So I'm going to start the video over and hopefully you guys will find me. Okay guys, this is video number two. I'm sorry for the um, little hiccup there. It's just sometimes technology does not like to play nicely. So if you're just joining and I'm also waiting to uh, make sure you guys can find me again. This is the VIP subscription box unboxing for July. And this is the box that's sponsored, <clears throat> excuse me, by JustMeLincoln.com. Just has provided the box for us. And I've just gone through everything that's in the box. And we've designed a mermaid necklace. And I am getting ready to paint the mermaid. I have mixed together here a little bit of sandstone ultimate paints with teal or turquoise and that's what I'm going to lightly paint the mermaid here if you guys are here if you found your way back to me say hello so I know all is well again and just doing a little 
a light coat for this little mermaid. I'm gonna paint her hair blue. I might leave her silver. Eh, no, I'm gonna paint her all blue. Okay, yeah, so if you guys, oh, here we go. Hi, hi, Nancy, hi, Amanda. Um, did I say July? This is the June box. I don't even know what month it is when I have a little hiccup like that, Mitzi. <laughs> Hi, Sue and Wendy. Thank you guys so much for finding me again really quickly. I so appreciate that. All right, and I'm going to pull out these little links also and paint in the middle part of these little links. The little diamond shape. Just to add a little... A little something something to them here. Just a little bit of that aqua, aqua marine gemstone kind of color. All right. Let's see, we got right back to just to be on the safe side in case it flips over. Not that it matters that much, but I'm just painting these with a little paintbrush. I'll go over one more time. Since those have kind of sunk into the texture of the metal piece, which is cool. my blue lady here and those little links that are bluish and I think I might put a little blue down here on the wave that would be kind of cute okay let me wash my brush off real quick so I was using one of my nice paint brushes <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit while I do the metal. And I'm going to grab some art metal wire. Guys, thank you so much for coming back. <laughs> yeah. Sorry guys, whatever I said in the beginning, it's the June box. So sorry about that for any confusion. Okay, and I think Just gonna test out and see if these beads are big enough. They are. So I'm gonna do 18 gauge is what I'm gonna use for the wire components on here. And I'm going to grab some O beads to put in the middle. I think I'm gonna go with this bronze, dark bronze color. As you guys know me and my spacers. <laughs> Gotta have it. Okay, so it's, I'm not sure if I'm on, um, looks like everyone is watching from YouTube. Are you guys on YouTube or Facebook? Hopefully you guys can find me again. If you guys would post in the, um, in the Humble Beats group that I'm back on, that would be cool. Hopefully Jess can find us again. So sorry about that, guys. Nothing I could do, though. Okay, so I'm going to start with a wrapped loop here on the bottom. And I'm going to create my loop and open it up and slide my mermaid on to the loop here on the bottom. Just like that. I wrap it around nice and tight two times. And I'm just I'm gonna keep with um, some 
neater wraps today, not quite so messy. And pinch that in really tight with my creaky pliers. What was up with that? <laughs> oh no! Okay guys, I just got another error. So... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It's just not working. If you're watching and it's still going on, leave a comment. I'm just going to go forward as if it is, because it is recording, so it might be everyone just has to watch the replay. I'm not sure what the deal is. Okay, I'm trying to decide if I want a bead on top of here. I feel like I'm going to use all my beads in this one project. <laughs> That's okay though. There's no rules. Okay. I like that. I like the earthiness of it. So I think I'm going to go with that one. All right, guys. Is anyone watching? Is it working? Okay. You can still see and hear me. All right. Good. This may be just a video that we have to watch again after after the fact. So I'm going to do another large loop on the top and I'm going to throw on one of these pewter links and I'm going to do that tight little wrap under here. Oh, good. Good, guys. I'm, I'm hoping if you're here, let me know. It'll just give me some comfort. I'm seeing some comments, so I'm just going to keep going. And maybe we all just need to go get a margarita after this. <laughs> it is summer after all. Okay. So I'm going to use these little guys. And I'm going to use some, let me figure out the uh, jump ring situation here, how I have to do this. Oh, maybe I'll just use them. Well, okay, thinking hard now. <laughs> All right, I have, um, let me find some little jump rings here. I kind of like copper to go with it to match some of the rose gold and coral tones we have going on. So I think that'll be a good, a good mix. So I think this one for sure is going to need, I think I'm going to need two jump rings and then do a silver one in the middle. That's my plan. Excuse me while I dig around for jump rings. Okay, I'm looking for my big silver ones. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. I'm so glad you guys are leaving comments and letting me know that I'm still here. <laughs> that is never fun. Okay. Okay on YouTube. Good on YouTube. All right. <laughs> uh, yes, Wendy, things are definitely much better, but it's never fun when things aren't working out exactly. Okay, let me grab my silver jump rings that are in a different spot, of course. All right, here we go. <laughs> Susan, you're liking a little mermaid? I'm definitely liking her. She's very sweet. Oh, 
Okay, so let's make sure this guy's going to slide on. Yep. Okay, I like that. All right, here we go. Now we're moving along a little bit. Let's see, do I want to... Yeah, I think I'm going to do a trio of dangles on this one. And then some little dangles on the bottom of here. Yeah, we'll just have it dangly. <laughs> All right. Let me grab some jump rings here to start putting things together. Close these up. Well, okay. Jumping back and forth a little today. a little yesterday. It's always a big mistake, right guys? <laughs> then things aren't where you had them and you have to go searching for them and digging. All right, here's the pearls. Oh good, Nancy, you just ordered your box on Tuesday, so you will get it really soon. And um, I love seeing all the different things everyone comes up with the boxes. So many unique and creative ways to use the components. Okay, I'm gonna, these are the really thin pearl head pins, and I'm gonna use them on the bottom for sure, so I might as well use them for these guys too. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, I'm having a change of heart. All right. Okay, just playing around with things here a little. Seeing what I really want this to look like. I feel like there needs to be something colorful in between these two. So maybe I'll use my little spacers. I don't want it to be too chunky right at the front, though. So maybe I do want to do a little link with these two. All right, let's try that. I reserve the right to change my mind a million times. <laughs> That's the fun of designing jewelry, right, guys? You just never know how it's going to turn out in the end. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. All right. Let's go for that. Let me see if these are going to be... Those are too thick, so I'm going to have to use thinner wire on the bottom here. So I'm going to pull out... 20 gauge and this is the art metal wire <laughs> right clean up another way just to say lose everything I agree Wendy yeah Shelly we've been having definitely some um, technical difficulties with the video today okay so I'm going to do two wraps on this little loop here so I've wrapped it around once, and I'm going to go around a second time on the same spot on my pliers so I have a nice sturdy double wrap. And then I'm going to attach this to my link there with a jump ring. Right. Mermaid's a good uh, necklace for this weekend. This weekend is Harbor Fest in my town. So, all sorts of fun 
things happening down at the beach and the river. All right, there we go. I need some WD-40 on my pliers. They're sounding like they're haunted. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use a little crystal, one of my O-beads, and this little glass faceted rondelle here. Yeah, I like that a lot. Except, you know what? I am going to uh, switch this around. Let's see if I want this to be... So this bottom one, I'm going to do left to right. And the same technique, we're doing the double loop. And the reason I'm doing the double loop is because um, I'm using the thinner wire and I want to have really secure connections on this necklace with, the, with where this is being placed. Okay, so I did the double loop and Gonna end the wire here in the back. Pinch that in. Okay, so this one is going to go directly on the jump ring, and then the bottom one. I know I should use pliers and not my fingers. <laughs> okay, in the bottom one, I'm going to attach with the copper jump ring. use the same copper jump ring to attach the link here to the big jump ring. And now we're going to do these two right here. I think I'm going to grab one of my little copper flower bead caps to put between those two beads. <laughs> the Haunted Pliers, a cozy mystery book about a paranormal jewelry creator. <laughs> Wendy, you definitely are making my day. <laughs> should be a thing. Okay, so we're going to be doing um, just the regular going back to the 18 gauge for these larger hole beads because I know this will work with my polymer clay beads and I'm going to do a simple wrapped loop. So we're going to do the loop on one side and then I'm going to open this slip it through our link. Okay, and I'm going to close this up and do the simple wrap, or, or the not simple wrap, the wrapped loop where we're going to go around two times. Keep it kind of clean. You guys know how much I love a messy wrap, so it's a little departure, but I feel like this, um, this design, I just wanted to have the simple loops, or wraps. There we go, that's what I need to say. All right, now I'm gonna put on the wobble bead. And I'm gonna put one of these 
little bead cap spacers. I'm going to put that going downward. And my disc bead. And let's see. Yeah, that's what I'm going to end it at. And I'm going to do the wrapped loop on the top here. And I'm thinking through this if I want to do a jump ring. I think I'm going to do a jump ring just so that I have that flash of copper between the two. So I'm going to have this jump ring go side to side. <laughs> now it really does sound like a haunted house with our old windows creaking. The, uh, the lawn people are here, so try not to have that noise in the background. Okay. Had that, uh, fighting with that loop. We're going to pretend I'm not making a disaster out of this. Thank you guys for um, finding me again after that little hiccup with the, uh, the video. Of course, I'm not sure if Jess ever made it back to us. Oh, Jess, are you here again? I think you are. So, Jess, if you want to share the subscription box link again, you guys will get the same subscription box, minus the humble beads, of course, through the month of June. So you guys have a few weeks to still get the same box. And then in July will be a brand new box with a new theme and new beads and a new adventure. All right. Now, you know what? Okay. I'm going to do a little double jump ring. Just for aesthetics. <laughs> so I'm going to grab two jump rings I don't know for some reason I just feel like it'll look good yeah yep yep good call Heather <laughs> just being goofy with you guys okay so I'm going to do the double jump ring Jump, the jump, the single jump ring just looked kind of wimpy, so double it up. Yeah, I like that a lot. What do you guys think of the double jump ring? Do you like that? Something fun, a little different. It's always cool when you can do something a little bit different. I think this one's fine. I think it'll be a little crowded if I tried to put two jump rings on the bottom one. I may change my mind, though. Never know. Okay. I'm going to do my last link on this side, and... do the same technique with the double jump rings. So I'm gonna... Not sure if that piece is big enough, so I'm gonna just start over. <laughs> Always better to have a little bit more, um, a little bit more of the, uh, wire. So, Wendy, or, no, Vivian, since Jess is on Facebook right now and not on um, not on YouTube, I'm just going to put her website right there on the bottom. So you can just go to Jess May Lincoln and click on the subscription box and you'll be able to find it. And then you can order directly from Jess. And um, 
And if you have any questions, of course, you can ask Jess, too. All right. Trying this again. so squeaky. I don't know what the deal is with these guys. <laughs> they're, they're like the Tin Man. They need some oil. Okay. I'm going to throw on this disc bead and I'm going to do the uh, bead cap going upward and a little Amazonite oval. It's always fun to work with stones. I don't use those very often. And I think I'm going to do a front to back jump ring or loop on this side. And I'm definitely going to end the necklace with the chain. So I like to wear my necklaces really long. I want to be able to play with the beads. <laughs> and so I'm going to have to find some chunky chain to put on the top of this. Okay, so we have that front to back. This one going left to right. And I'm going to do the double jump rings. And I like that these texture jump rings have that um, kind of rope texture to them. So adding into that nautical theme, a little beachy vibe we got going on. Okay, and I'm going to add another jump ring. So like um, kind of the, the subdued color palette, even though it's beachy, um, you could totally wear this with neutrals. Okay, <laughs> honestly, I just got another message. I hope the video is recording still. If not, we'll just have to put all the videos together and... Uh, and watch them afterwards. Okay, now I think I want to do the little pearl dangles on the bottom here. If you guys are watching. <laughs> Wendy, I wish we could blame it on the heat here. It's actually really cold this weekend. It's like only in the 60s. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, we can definitely say gremlins for sure. Someone must have fed him after midnight. <laughs> okay. This pearl, the hole is really tiny, so I'm just going to my pliers and pull that down and repeat on the other two well that one wasn't so bad I know Sheila it's so frustrating hopefully um, I'm back again I don't know what the deal is definitely have to let the uh, video people know that we had the technical difficulties. It's probably because we should all just be outside, right? <laughs> outside playing. Okay, 
Now I'm going to um, make a loop and put these directly onto the ring each time. So I'm going to do a larger loop because I want it to have lots of movement. Like that. And I'm going to open up the loop. Throw it on my ring here. And then close it up. And I'm going to do messy wraps on the bottom of this one. I mean the top of this. So I did too tightly. And then I'm going to use the rest of the wire to make a messy wrap. But of course I want that wire to end in the back. So I'm going to stop right there. Trim it off. And give that a little pinch. Okay, that looks really cute. It's the tiniest little pearl ever. It's like a two millimeter pearl. <laughs> oh. Yeah, guys, you probably have to watch the replay. I'm sorry about that. Um, if you are still here, let me know. We're going to be doing our giveaway at the end if anyone's still on. You guys have a really good chance of winning the giveaway today if, um, if so many people have had to stop watching because of the video issues. Let's try that again. Didn't open that one up quite wide enough. Okay. sure what's going on there. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. I'm trying to get it below the first one that I did. Probably should have worked the other way, but that's all right. Okay. around tightly two times and then wind the rest of it messily around. This one's a little fatter than the first one. Okay, but I want it to end in the back, so I'm going to stop right there. the next one. I'm just going to keep doing this one. Okay, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Are we still here? Are you still able to see me? I'm seeing comments that say I lost you, but if I can see the comment, does that mean you're still here? Just not sure. If not, I'll just put the two videos together and you guys can watch the replay on YouTube this afternoon. Nothing I can do. Okay. Alright, I'm going to do the other two on the other side. And then I think we'll call this done and I will put the other side of the necklace too. Well, maybe I will just call it done right now since I'm not sure. If anyone can see the video, it's just super frustrating, but that's the way it goes. We've covered everything we need to cover today. So I think, though, I'm going to take my buffing block and just pull a little bit of that silver back up from the paint. Yeah, I like that a little better. Have some of the highlights showing on the mermaid. Okay, so we um, used a combination of disc beads and the stones that were in pearls that were in the kit. Did some wire wrapping, had that little guy just thrown on there, 
for a little something extra. <laughs> Paint to the link. Then we have the uh, humble beads, disc beads, and the Amazonite finishing the necklace. And then I'm going to find, I think I'm going to do copper chain in the back and do a copper chain. So I will finish this necklace and post it on the Facebook group along with the um, completed video all put together so that you guys can watch it all at once. And I think I'll just do a drawing, a comment drawing underneath the reposted video so you guys can, um, you'll have to go to Facebook to do the drawing today. And so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to call it an end because we're just having so much technical difficulties and I'm not even sure if anyone's even able to see it. So guys, again, Just Me Lincoln is where you're going to find the subscription box. And I'm sorry for the technical stuff, but we'll be back next week with a new coffee break. So we'll see you next week at 3 p.m. <clears throat> and if you guys are interested in the disc beads that we used, of course you can find those at humblebeads.com. All right, guys, thank you so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye.